All right, so if you're here expecting me to say something like Rocky Wirtz is just a controlled opposition psyop to try to keep the NHL in the spotlight during the All-Star weekend so everybody can see our best players, if you're expecting me to say anything like that, I probably won't. I probably won't say anything like that. Now! Oh, so it's the first day where there's nothing really Panther related. I mean, there's stuff to talk about, but that'll be a separate video. I, I kind of wanted to... Actually, I didn't want to. I didn't want to touch this subject. I wake up, I see everything that happened last night. I watched the videos a couple of times, and I thought, oh, I really want nothing to do with this. I've said enough, you know, with the whole Q thing and all that. And then I got to thinking, oh, hold on. Hold on. Everybody... Let's take the sexual allegations. I'm gonna let's just put that over here. Just put that over here. I'm gonna get there. But what he says is it's I, I'm, I he says it cursing. I forget. It, but I think it's none of your goddamn business. I believe that's the quote. Let's explore that, shall we? Exhibit A. Now, that's not a tremendous commitment by the city of Chicago. It's shared with the Blackhawks and the Bulls. 17% of the arena funding comes from the city. The teams built the arena, and the city pays for the upkeep. But 17%, 17 4.% I believe, if I'm remembering correctly, out of a $175 million venture is not nothing. That money comes from the taxpayers of the city of Chicago. So it is their business, butthead. Let's get going. Now, the Blackhawks, what the Blackhawks did here with this town hall is imagine a couple who is having severe marital problems, right? Okay? And the... <laughs> I'll, I'll throw the man under the bus here. The man has had has cheated. The man has done all these things, and he's promised the woman, "I'm let's go to counseling. I'm going to be transparent, right?" So, they go to counseling, and as soon as the counselor asks a question about the affair, the man says, "Kiss my ass. I ain't talking about that no more." Okay. Well, what are you gonna do to not cheat again? I, I don't have to answer that question. It's none of your business. I'll talk with my wife about that. That's what the Blackhawks have done, because they talked about how transparent they're going to be. And then they called a town hall style discussion. And then Rocky Words shows his complete ass to the entire planet. Amazing. Now, like I said, I covered the whole thing with the with, with Beach and Q and all of that in the report. I'm not touching that. I I get the part where people have said, do we have to continue to talk about that? I, I understand there's a segment of people that say, have we not talked about what happened enough? Okay, I'll, I'll buy I'll buy that. But, but what the Blackhawks said is we're going to be transparent about what we're going to do to stop that from happening again. That is, under no circumstances, is that not a viable question? And this man has got three screws loose, okay? I mean... <laughs> To, that man is in tr control of a hockey team. Let's just let's just ponder for a minute what it would because we've all worked for somebody like that, right? Uh, the the guy I forget who it was. One of the guys went to answer the question, and Rocky cut him off and said, "No." And can you imagine what it's like to work for a man like that? It's got to be that exactly. There was no words. There's no way. You go home, and when you walk in the door, your wife says, are you okay? And you're like, that's it. It's like Tom Hanks in League of Her Own. So, all right, it is the public's business. Let's just start there. Number two, holy crap, do the Blackhawks have, if, how do you pay now? How do you pay? You really, 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 I, and you have to give those people credit. If you were still paying that man money to go see hockey, boy, do you want to see hockey. Those people who are in the fan or in the stands watching that team, those are some of the most hardcore hockey fans you will find on this planet because 
they have to override what they know is them handing their money to that man and still be like, I really hate that, but I love the game so much, I'm willing to make that trade. So, because I, I saw on Twitter people saying, well, if you can be a fan of this team after this, man, you can't, it's not the player's fault, right? It's not, it's like the Dolphins with Ross. What are we going to do there? That's another video. I'm not doing it right now. Not going there. Don't get me started, Joss. <laughs> so the bottom line is, it is the public's business. I don't know what the hell the league is going to do with, with, with this guy. How, how, how do you screw that up so bad? I mean, I mean, I don't even think Brandon could screw that up to that level. First off, I don't think he'd have the energy to talk that loud for that long. Um, oh, <laughs> I can't believe I just said that. You come on, come on. Even if you like the guy, he's he's still, you know, um, he's a little low on the energy. You know what I'm saying? So the the point being is, I don't even think he could have screwed that up as much as Wurtz did. That was just unspeakable, unspeakable. But it is the public's business. That's the point that I really wanted to share. And if they say they're going to be transparent, that somebody is going to have to come out from the organization and risk losing their job. Can you imagine? They're going to have to risk losing their job to share with the public the steps that the organization is taking to make sure that a coach doesn't attempt to molest any players. I mean, can you imagine trying to hide that specific information? I get it. They don't want to talk about what happens in the past. Okay, I can even buy that. But how are you going to stop it in the future? What? And to wrap this all up in a nice, neat little bow, we can blame all of the players, everybody that was in that whole scenario. You can blame all those guys all you want. But guess what? The culture starts at the top, and holy shit, did we just see what the top looks like. Mm -mm -mm.